Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph and today I'm going to be reacting to Dragon Ball Super episode 44, 45, and 46. This is going to be a three episode video because I looked up when the saga start and supposedly the next saga starts on episode 47, I believe. So instead of starting a new saga like in the middle of one of my videos, might as well finish off the saga, do a 3-1, and then pick up where we left off with a brand new saga. So this is going to be a long video, guys. But so far last episode, it was just filler basically. We got to see what the deal was with Manaka. Everybody knows he's like a fraud or he's just like a figurehead except for Goku. Goku still thinks he's like this all-powerful like dude. And then the second half of the episode it was just like about babysitting Pan and stuff. It was basically a filler episode. Nothing really happened. So over the next three episodes I don't know if these episodes are gonna be filler also. I hope not. And if they are I hope at least something interesting happens. Who knows? But for these three episodes let's see what they're about. Let's see what they're filler and let's see if anything happens. If you guys are enjoying my Dragon Ball Super series so far and you guys want to see all these uncut reactions early make sure to check out my Patreon. Link will be in the description. Without further ado, it's gonna be Dragon Ball Super episode 44, 45, and 46. Let's go. Hey everyone, just want to give a special thanks and a shout out to my Patreons for supporting me. Over on my Patreon, you'll gain early access to all of my uncut reactions on top of other perks. Check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. The seal of Planet Potafu. Secrets of the unleashed superhuman water. I think these are going to be filler, unfortunately. But let's see what it's about. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm a little busy at the moment. Would you mind bringing it up here? I'd appreciate it. Yeah, fine. Is he gonna run into Goku or some shit? I really need an assistant for this experiment, but there's nobody else around right now. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I've still got a delivery to make. Yeah, he's got a project. job. He can't Don't stay worry, here. This won't take long. I don't think that's what- oh. What the fuck is that? Alright, let's go again. Do we have to keep doing this till it fills up all the way? Dude, he doesn't have time for that, bro. Check it, he left the he, yeah, that's open. pretty ballsy. I was careless of him. Yeah, right? He's not in here either. <gasps> Even if you were just running in and out, no. You always close that shit. That's terrifying. Isn't it adorable? No. <laughs> Probably okay if I just take a quick peek inside, right? Oh fuck. <gasps> oh god. What the heck is this thing? Pop it. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say pop it with the sword. But now you guys are trapped in his truck. It won't open. <sighs> we'll just have to break it down then. Although if we do that, Monaka's gonna be pretty mad we busted up his space truck. I guess we should just wait for him. Yeah, just Hope wait for him. he comes back soon. Well, I'm sure he will. Yeah, but I think what he's what's gonna happen is that he's just gonna take you guys with him. <laughs> How did they not yeah, feel that the, the truck start bad. up? Uh, hey, trunks, I think we're moving now. I know. Hey! Bang on the... Maybe you can't hear yeah. us up there. Bang on it. Hey! They've been to space before, they'll be fine. And we have touchdown. Right side check, left side check. I wonder if he was supposed to deliver that blow up bear or something to this person, but it's destroyed because it's popped. Oh my god, they're icicles. Or they're just frozen. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> At least he thawed them. I thought we were gonna die in there. It's Monaka. Hey there, Potage. Oh, 
I have this Space Martial Arts Monthly Magazine you ordered. Thank you for choosing us for all your shipping needs, and please consider using us again in the future. Oh, oh so... Oh, God. Oh, hey! He's just a delivery man. I thought he was, like, a pastry, like, delivery man. Really, old man? You thought you could get away from me that easily? I'm disappointed. Oh, no. I was so excited to see you, Manaka. I forgot all about those bastards. Aren't you gonna introduce us to your friends over there? Whoa, who are those ugly dudes? Damn. Mm, I'm Zavon. You have unfinished business, Fitz. They about to fight? That stance of his looks pretty strong. It does. That doesn't matter. Let him have it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, guess Gramps isn't so tough after all. Well, it's like Manaka just collapsed too. What the? Get him, Goten! Yeah! Damn. Imagine being a full-grown adult alien and getting your ass kicked by ten-year-olds. Fall back. They're half Saiyan, man. Hey, where are you running off to, scaredy cat? If you want a real fight, we'll take you on anytime. Oof. Damn. Oh, the binky. I'm assuming that's what they're after. For some reason, like oh, I cannot believe how strong you boys are. So strong, in fact, that for a second you took my press away. Are you kidding? That was nothing. We could have taken on hundreds of guys like that easy. Yep. <laughs> hundreds, you say? Okay, so tell us, who were those jerks anyway? No good thieves, plunderers who came to rob this planet of the tremendous powers that lies within. So wait, there's some kind of hidden power here? Yes, and I protect it with the help of this. It's not on your yeah. Say, I sure would appreciate it if you boys could come with me. There's just no way I could defeat those guys all on my own. Yeah, no sweat. <sighs> hey, where did you get that? Uh, Trunks, am I wrong, or is that just a plain old pacifier like babies use? Sure looks like it, but seems like that oh, was pretty important to this guy for some reason. Ah, uh, if I don't do something, then the superhuman I think that's what they're called, right? You just need to get that little pacifier thing back, right? We'll leave it to us. Ready, Goten? You bet! Might wanna wait. <laughs> oh shit, they got him already. <laughs> no, wow. I'm, a I'm really sorry, you guys. How did they get him? Did they like transport behind him or some shit? Because they were walking away from Manaka, I thought. Human water, a miraculous tonic that is said to increase anyone's power hundreds of times over. And I thought the Dell's toilet water was fancy. A miraculous tonic. <sighs> <sighs> toilet water. It's a fairy tale, you understand? And if you break that seal, all that will happen I do is know about be that. Up. Man, it'd be so easy for us to bust out of these ropes. Yeah, I do know about the toilet water. They, I think they went to go uh, get Videl this perfume or something, but they instead got like just plain old like water or some shit like that from somewhere. Something like that. <laughs> so what's this? So this is the superhuman water. Now that I have it, the universe will be mine. Oh God. Okay. <gasps> What was that? What just happened? Okay, so, so far, this is kind of like a mini Goten and Trunks saga. Because this is like a completely different plot. It's not like filler, like the last two episodes were. This actually has like somewhat of a little bit of a plot, but it's focusing a lot on Goten and Trunks. So they're on this weird ass planet that's being taken over by these like blue, greenish people because they want this powerful water. And now that he's got it, something happened so i wonder if the water is not as powerful as he hoped it's probably not what he expected or someone else got to it first or something i don't know something just seems off so yeah that's weird let's see what's going on what trunks and goten stowed away on manaka's vessel yeah they were supposed to be back home a while ago but when i couldn't find them anywhere I got worried something might have happened to them, so I checked the security footage. That's what happens when you order all that garbage. You gotta be kidding. You're saying it's my fault they snuck on board? Wait, I said nothing of the kind. You're twisting my words. No, you like, implied it. You yeah. You think Trunks is gone because I have a sweet tooth and believe in galactic commerce? Forgive me for interrupting your little marital spat, but if you don't need me, I'll be leaving. No, we need you, dude. Don't be upset with me. You know you're the only one I can turn to. You're my hero. Damn, saying that right in front of her husband. Would you save the day and pick up trunks and goten for me huh? i am not a super elite bus driver who cares what your title is you're not doing anything oh, how rude and for your information i'm currently on an important mission to find and arrest grill the sautean a vicious thug <laughs> oh well, what do you know might as well go there no way i can change your mind absolutely not well then maybe i should ask the galactic king 
I could tell him how you drew a mustache on his picture. Ooh, just blackmailing poor Jocko, man. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> if that got out, you could be fired. <laughs> All right, fine. I just have to bring the Rugrats back, right? Thank you, Jocko. Vegeta's not going with him? Um, you're going too. Oh. I'm doing what now? Our son is lost out there somewhere in the universe. Of course you're gonna help bring him home. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. Alright. Oh shit. Oh, poor Jocko, man. He doesn't get paid enough for this shit, honestly. Like, everything he does for Bulma is, like, on the side. Looks like I'm completely back to normal. Okay, one more time. Is he gonna go too? There's no use trying to escape. Surrender now or die. Hey, stop screaming! Trunks, look out! Was that Vegeta? Did he get there that quick? Wow, that was fast. I didn't expect that. Dad! We are going to have a long talk later, young man. Ooh. Mostly Bulma's gonna be doing the talking. Yeah, there you go. There's your dude. Try not to get too close to them. It's not safe. He does not give two flying fucks. He just goes at it. All right, you purple freak. Looks like the only one left here is you. <laughs> Uh oh. Hey, Dad! Behind you! Mm. Oh, son of a! Ew! It looks like uh, it kind of reminds me of like the Boo thing when he snuck up on uh, Gohan. I think it was. Whoa! What's happening? Taking Vegeta hostage? Oh! What happened? Just spat him out. My strength is completely Yeah, gone. I was about to say, did it just this drain his powers? You're weak. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Ooh, this just got interesting. Alrighty. Okay, so Jocko and Vegeta just arrived, and things just got hella interesting, man. Vegeta's powers, and, or I guess strength more, is like absolutely drained, and now the blob thing turned into Vegeta. So I feel like it's gonna be Vegeta versus Vegeta, which is gonna be an interesting fight. However, Vegeta, like he said, doesn't have his strength. I don't know if that means his powers are gone too. I wonder if it's just strength or is it both. But on the upside, you do have Goten and trunks with you so they can do the fusion thing and turn into go tanks and it's also a win-win for Jocko too because that's the criminal he was looking for anyway so I was like oh shit might as well kill two birds with one stone capture this criminal and also bring Goten and trunks home but for now let's see what Vegeta does about his blob duplicate thing Vegeta disappears menace of the duplicate Vegeta how does that happen <laughs> <laughs> Manaka's like scared shitless. I love it. I possess all of your energy and fighting skills. I am now the only Vegeta in the universe. Mm. I am nothing but an old shell I left behind. A shell you left behind? I don't have time for this disrespectful nonsense. You're nothing but a pathetic imposter, and now you're going to hell! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, so his powers are gone. I can't. Yeah. Is this what you'd like to do to me? Too bad. Oh, oh no! Galica! Oh, and he knows everything about Vegeta, too. I wonder if he absorbed, like, his memories and shit. Keep denying it all you want. I am the real Vegeta while you are nothing. Absorb the energy of the other four humanoids as well. And make your first target that boy. What? That's Trunks. <gasps> Hurry! Absorb their power before they have a chance to run away. So yeah, he absorbed the memories too. Wow, Goten or Goten, uh, the Chunks can carry his father. I'm not surprised. Move. I've just never seen it before. Wait, they go? Damn, dude. Huh? Move. I'm gonna pay for that. Damn, they really went out of their way to animate Jocko's ass. Like, draw that line in. 
We need to get to the bottom of this imposter. His ability to use the Gallic gun makes him far more than just a look-alike. Hmm. Yeah, does he know Allow anything? To fill in some of the blanks. Yeah, please. What's been attacking us is superhuman water. Hold on. Oh, that's the water. Okay. Um, from what I remember, it's a miracle water that makes you hundreds of times stronger. <laughs> Most people think it's a legend. Hmm. You only know a fraction of the story. Wait, what? Hmm. Don't waste our time, old man. Tell Damn. Us the superhuman water. <sighs> we Potophilians were weak. That is, until we discovered a liquid that could stop our enemies by absorbing their powers. Over the years, it absorbs the power of countless enemies, turning each one into a duplicate who would fight on our side. Ooh. But absorbing that much evil corrupted the Commission. And what began mm. as a tool for self-defense developed its own aggressive personality. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like this is something that would happen with us in the future if we don't be careful of AI. I hope I'm dead by then, bro, when AI takes over the world. With the fate of all creation in the balance, we Potophilians developed a sealing antidote. Mm. Then tricked the Commission into ingesting it by treating ourselves with the seal and allowing the Commission to absorb us all. Okay, so where's the antidote? I, Potage, am the last of my race. Wow. And for 100 years, I have nobly guarded the prison protecting this universe from the dreaded Commission. That's nuts. Victory! Oh, imagine being the last one of your kind. That's crazy. And then those robbers appeared and screwed it all up, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Grill and his men, like so many others before them, had been seduced by false tales of the water powering them up. Those vandals broke the seal on the Comezon. Oh no, what's happening? Ah, so it's like it's his own and now the rest. Yeah. So like the water is like its own thing basically. It's like the individual villain, it's not the green people really. When Grill told him to absorb Trunks' powers. Why is that? He's supposed to be all evil water, right? I'm sure they absorbed the memories. Your duplicate hesitated because your personality is now part of his character too. Ah. My personality, huh? You wouldn't nice. hurt your son. Since I'd never take a shortcut to power by absorbing someone least, else's, let alone my not own Not like sons. to kill him. Aside <laughs> from his emotions, though, his mind is still under complete control. That weak-willed fool! I'm ashamed to even think about my duplicate being the puppet of some Jesus. other master. What happens to people after the superhuman water takes their powers? Uh, well, it's complicated. They die, don't they? Uh. How much time do I have? When your body starts disappearing, you'll have five minutes left, maybe less. It's probably happening to those oh. robbers right about now. <laughs> what? What's going on? Why are we disappearing? Somebody say that! Oh, shit. Okay, that's what the title meant. We have to destroy the copy. Oh, boy! You mean Vegeta's duplicate, Okay. Right? And defeating him will be just as hard as defeating me. So question, I don't know if they answer this directly. If Vegeta ends up disappearing, but then they defeat Duplicate Vegeta after, does Vegeta just spawn again? Don't let him get to ya! We're gonna take down that imposter! You're right! There you Let's go. Do this. There you go. When you are drunk, you... Honestly, do we ever get to see what this looks like when they're older? Like when they're like Gohan's age or something, what the fusion will look like when they're older. Say hi to all powerful Gojang! They'll probably just look like Vegeta with the multicolored hair. I'll let you take it from here. Liquid phony, you won't be absorbing any more power now that Gojang's is here to stop you. And I love how the other guy just like, like you know, dips Loki. Okay, well, so far I will admit I'm actually really enjoying these filler episodes. If you can even call it a filler episode, I would kind of think it's like a mini plot. Like a three episode mini plot. I'm actually enjoying it. I don't know if it's because it's like revolving a lot around Vegeta, Goten, and Trunks, because Vegeta is my favorite character if you hadn't know. But I'm pretty interested to see if like Vegeta actually disappears. And like I said, if he disappears and they kill the duplicate after he disappears, does Vegeta spawn again or is he done? And if he does like, you know, disappear or die, how many times has he died now? What? It has to be like two or three or maybe four. I think it's three. I think it's three. Counting this one, if he does disappear, I think it'll be three. Because it was in the Frieza saga, 
then it was in the Boo Saga. And those are the only ones I can really think of. Almost died in the Vegeta Saga. Still can't believe Krillin almost took him out. Oh my god. But for now, we're seeing Gotenks go up against Duplicate Vegeta. Is Gotenks powerful enough? I think so. But I think the biggest obstacle is that can Trunks defeat his dad? Because I know they're still merged. Like, you know, there's Go it's Goten and Trunks. Kind of like in one. But Trunks' personality is like still in there somewhere. So I wonder if that's going to be like a little bit of like a mental obstacle to overcome to in order to defeat Duplicate Vegeta. But for now, let's see if he can do it. Say your prayers, imposter! You're going down! Oh really? Attack any way you want. Alright! How about a miracle punch? Miracle kick! They have the ability to transform to a new power level? I want that! Quit stalling! Go smack that jerk while he's off guard! Alright, alright! Nice. I wonder if that's foreshadowing if uh, they're gonna get Gotenks. Oh, summon the ghosts! I forgot about that. Oh shit. To disappear. I'm afraid that means you haven't got much time left. That's bad. You got five minutes, they said. <laughs> oh yeah, is Goku gonna come around? I don't know, like I said that earlier, but I don't know. Haven't you heard not to bite the hand that feeds you? <laughs> because I'm actually feeding you, so don't complain. Huh? Oh, he can sense it. Go tanks? Hold on. I sense Vegeta with him too. It feels like they're fighting. Wait, are they fighting each other? Ah, he doesn't know. Yeah, to him, it's just power levels. Of course, the son can't defeat his father. And while I'm proud of your courage, this is where your fight ends. Uh oh, who's gonna save him? Goku. That's enough, Vegeta. Huh? Were you seriously gonna kill our sons? It's not him. Is that Kakarot? Kakarot? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That purple guy is not me. D uh, but Bro, figure uh, it out. You can do I it. Count two Vegetas here. Which one looks weirder? All you need to know is he's bad, and you need to stop him. If you don't, the real Vegeta's gonna disappear. Uh, oh boy. Can you start over from the top? We don't have time to draw you a picture, you fool. Uh huh? Just do as the boy said and defeat the slime ball in the next three minutes. These purple guys have the ability to steal your energy. I'm not gonna fight dirty. <laughs> It's literally another I want Vegeta. This duel to be a one-on-one -on -one stand up fight. Forget your own grudge. Just use our powers to make him part of us. You just stay out of it. Vegeta's personality. Fight, I'll destroy you. Uh, it is you who will pay for disobeying us. Oh, are they going to fight each other? No, you can't. Is he going to take the thing out of the chest? Oh, never mind. I thought he was gonna rip the thing out of his chest and put it in his own, so he has free will. All right, I'm not gonna hold back. The strongest guy in the universe is watching. I want to show him my best. All right, motivation. Let's go. Now, can the duplicate Vegeta turn into Super Saiyan and shit like that? I don't know. I don't know if he has that ability. Yeah. Oh, don't you hold anything back now? Come on. Purple Vegeta really does fight like real Vegeta. Yeah. Why are you surprised? He literally drained all the power and fighting skills right out of me. Wow. Wish I saw that. But if Damn. that's true, that means I just have to approach fighting him like I'm fighting you at your usual strength. No shit. That's what they said. Now that I'm healthy again, this sounds like a ton of fun. Oh, then yes, do something. I more. Oh my god. Is this where we leave off?
That's a cool shot. Okay, so now we're tossing Goku into the mix. Not surprising, I mean, if they weren't going to involve him at all in this fight, they wouldn't have shown him on King Kai's planet training. I'm just surprised he was able to get there that quickly. I mean, I know he has the instant transmission thing and he was able to lock on Gotenks and Vegeta's, uh, what is it, like power level or something? Well, not Vegeta's, but you know, duplicate Vegeta's, I guess you could say. But holy crap, y'all, like, Goku, I'm so sorry. I'm not a Goku hater, but sometimes, he leaves me no choice. Like, what the fuck? What do you expect? Which one the real Vegeta is, man? One's purple and one's regular. Like, dude. Yes, the regular one is kind of disappearing, but like, common sense, bro. Like, really? You really think that the all gooey purple one is the real Vegeta when the other one look exactly like Vegeta, just a little bit like, you know, I guess you can say see-through? Really, dude? Come on. And even when they told him, he was like, oh, Bro, really? But anyway, since Goku is going to be fighting in this fight, I'm assuming he's the one who's gonna defeat the duplicate Vegeta? This isn't gonna be an easy fight, but obviously they're gonna defeat him. It's just the question, who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Jocko? Is it gonna be Goten or Trunks? Or Gotenks? Or is it gonna be Goku? Or is it gonna be Vegeta? So how is duplicate Vegeta gonna be, I guess you say, defeated and how badly? Because following Vegeta's track record, man, every time he loses, he loses, like so badly. So let's see what happens. Goku versus the duplicate Vegeta. Which one is going to win? Cause yeah, we have to wrap things up in this episode because as what I've like looked up, the new saga starts on 48, whatever the one after this is. Yeah, take that crystal out. I wonder if you they can use the crystal against him and like I guess command him to like not do shit or something. I don't know. I feel like that's gonna play a role. Ow, ow. I'm still wondering if uh duplicate Vegeta can go Super Saiyan. Dad's not doing so well now, is he? Aww. I feel like Vegeta is going to be low-key proud of himself if he wins, if he lives to see it because he's disappearing, but if duplicate Vegeta wins, he'll probably be like, I always knew it. Over here! Damn. Nice Ow. Ooh. Damn, and it's, it's also the other way around with Vegeta. If Goku beats him, it'll be like, damn, I, I could have done better or some shit like that. If you're gonna be like me, at least learn to take a hit. Yeah, see? You're nothing like me at all. Mm-hmm. It's like a double-edged sword for Vegeta. Oh, Dad, did you realize that if Goku doesn't win this fight, you're gonna die, right? Oh, yeah. well, obviously I'm aware of that. He, he forgot for a second because he's rooting for himself. Of Damn. It's literally like, um, what is it? Uh, from Kung Fu Panda 4, if you guys haven't seen the movie yet, because it came out a couple months ago, when Tai, spoiler alert, when Tai Long was like, you know, brought back, he was like in the same position as Vegeta in this situation, which was pretty funny to see. What? Recognize this move? <laughs> is that how I sound? I don't sound like that, do I? You didn't earn those I, skills. I, I, you just stole them. I, 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 Give him a left. All right, uppercut. Which one are you rooting for? I'm not sure. This is all very confusing. I guess Vegeta must have gotten even stronger since the tournament. <laughs> Do you think you were the only one who was training and improving? Mm. <laughs> You're doing a pathetic job of fighting him. Mm -hmm. You dare claim to be me? Listen well, imposter. Man up. Show them all what a Saiyan prince is really capable of. You need to fight a lot better too, Kakarot. Don't let yourself get beaten by this cheap knockoff. Damn. Uh, whose side is he on anyway? Right? Exactly. Literally like Tai Long in, in Kung Fu Panda 4. Very similar. Very, very similar. But maybe we should bring this fight to an end. Yeah. Vegeta's running out of time. Hey. His clock should have been up a long time ago. They said five minutes. What kind it's of been like 30. Kakarot's learned how to reach the power of a Super Saiyan God, and this is the Super Saiyan version of that. My turn. What does it look like? Oh, he's gone super 
Oh, he could do it too. That's really weird looking. Be able to turn Super Saiyan blue like us. Like I've been trying to tell you, I am Vegeta now. I don't mean to alarm you, but have you gotten even more transparent? I love how his head isn't though. Like his head is the only thing that's not see-through. This key is instilled with the same antidote that sealed the comezon. It may be able to you a little more time. Okay. I hope you're right. <laughs> it just sucks on a binky. Huh. Okay. I swear I will see this battle all the way to the end. There's no way I'm ever gonna see anything this hilarious again. You're gonna get a picture of it. Jesus Christ. Show Bulma. Ha! Bulma my battery. Die on me now! Damn, bro. This is gonna show Bulma or just blackmail Vegeta with it. Vegeta, I promise you I'll do everything I possibly can to defeat you and save your life. Alrighty. Let's see it. Okay, so so far they really are dragging this fight out, but it is funny to see Vegeta have kind of like a, what do you call it? Like, I guess like a mental crisis or some shit where he doesn't exactly know who to root for because it's like, I guess a mental battle in, with himself. It's just funny to see. But it looks like Vegeta's not gonna disappear like at all, I guess. He's fading, but I don't think they're gonna have him disappear until the end of the fight. Like either if like duplicate Vegeta is literally about to be like defeated. And then if he like, you know, if Vegeta actually does disappear, it's gonna wait until then. Or Vegeta doesn't disappear at all and he gets his powers back and like Goku defeats duplicate Vegeta just in time before he disappears. So it's gonna be one of those. I thought Goten and Trunks were gonna play a role in this but I think it's just down to Goku. Maybe Vegeta might play a role in it too. I mean he is sunking on that binky so maybe that will help Goku a little bit. I don't know. Uh, but for now let's see what the result of this fight is gonna be like. It looks like he's getting more, like, uh, solid now. Damn. Because I don't think Vegeta knows how to do that. It's too dangerous here! We gotta go! Walter, help me! You could help him by defeating the main body! The main body? The if other one. Smash the core of the Comezon yeah, life force, the little, the uh... Will be significantly weakened. The rock what? thing. Why didn't you tell us that earlier? Honestly. Because I forgot. It's been a hundred years since I dealt with this. Okay, fair enough. Slack. Fair enough. The main body. You must be talking about that big guy. With the... Exactly. The core yep. is in his chest. Uh, over there. Hmm, I wonder where he went. Oh, fuck. Well, you folks are in luck because you happen to have a super elite galactic patrolman here with you. Conducting investigations is my special. Okay, then find him. No need to worry. I know the superhuman water wants to obtain the power up there. No doubt it's lurking nearby, waiting for an opportunity. Mm, look behind you. Assumption. I can work with that. You really think it's nearby? Oh, oh, oh. Look out! Nice. That thing absorbs your power just by touching you! Yeah, yeah but so well, we could easily defeat a duplicate of you! Damn! What did you say? Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, while you're in there, yank the thing out of him or like crush it or some shit. Like, uh, uh, it's right the us. disrespect. There's no way we can defeat that. We have to smash that core so dad won't disappear, but I don't know how. Did he just disappear? Dad, your energy. Oh, dad, oh, he can sense the energy. Jeez, that's sad. So are you really sure you're ready to settle this for good right here and now? Huh. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's really here Dad, or here. It's really weird to hear that voice come out of a uh, fake Vegeta. Dad! Thank goodness we made it back in time. Huh. <sighs> I feel like sucking on that Binky's doing nothing. I feel like the older guy's just trolling him. Alrighty. Jeez. Alrighty, who went out? Monaco's just standing there, bro. Oh. Who's he gonna absorb? Is he going after- he's going after Trunks. Oh, is he gonna sacrifice himself?
He can't... Yeah. What's Monaka gonna do? Oh, he stepped on it! Wow, that's so dumb, bro. Really, Monaka? Destroy it. Okay, so if Vegeta disappears before that thing is destroyed, he's done. He doesn't respawn after you destroy it. Okay, it's done. How's Vegeta? Okay, he's okay. My body, it's solid again. Oh, thank goodness. Aww. <laughs> Wow, he stepped on it by accident. Manaka's the one who finally took care of that superhuman water, huh? That just makes him believe it more, all. yeah. Still, I was so close. Another couple of seconds and I would have been able to beat Vegeta. What did you say? <laughs> hey, wait, I was gonna ask you. Aren't you a little too old to be sucking on a pacifier? Uh, what are you talking about? Does he not know? Does he not know what a binky is? Oh, I guess he wasn't around for Trunks, yeah. No, yeah. Man. I think it's about time you grew out of that binky. Yeah, so it is a binky. Yeah, I'm not crazy. You're kidding me. That's what a pacifier is. You really didn't. Yeah, right? Of course I didn't. I never put it in my mouth, even if it meant dying. <laughs> oh, come on, Vegeta. Don't overreact. If you had died back there, we'd never be able to fight each other like that again. Besides, we still haven't. What is this win. face? I'm the one who would win. <laughs> I'll know keep about that. <laughs> Damn, he said keep dreaming. The disrespect, bro. Is that it? Oh. It's Future Trunks. Wait, why is his hair blue? I thought his hair was, uh, purple. I'm assuming this is a setup for the next saga, so we're getting Future Trunks again. Alrighty, I'm down. I don't know what that says. I'm assuming that says something like until next time or whatever. Alrighty, now it's Dragon Ball Super episode 44, 45, and 46. So, so far this was an interesting little mini saga. Not gonna lie, I enjoyed it more than I thought. Because I went into this thinking it was just like useless filler episodes. I was like, okay, whatever. But it actually had like a cool plot. Stupid ending, again, I'm so sorry. They definitely... I guess you could say robbed us of another good ending, I guess. Because they're building up these fight scenes for the ending to be just so simple and so dumb, you know? Minaka stepped on the fucking thing by accident because he woke up and just took one step back and boom, done. It would have been a lot cooler if Trunks got like absorbed by it, but while he was in there, he grabbed the thing in the chest and just crushed it or something. That would have been a lot cooler because then his son would have saved his father. That would have been a lot cooler ending. And I think I would have been like a lot more satisfied with that ending because you know, it's like more emotional and shit, you know, you get it. But nah, just the fact that he stepped on it by accident and that's what killed him, it's just like, really? I feel like they build up all these cool places plots and at the end they just say like all right i'm done i'm bored just end it it's like they definitely could like you know write it better but we are officially finishing the tournament universe six versus seven saga thing and now we are jumping into the next saga next episode and based on the very ending of it it's involving future trunks i don't know why he has blue hair i wonder if it's a different future trunks or is it just like a different art style that the animators are doing or whatever if someone can let me know down in the comments why future trunks hair is blue instead of purple from dragon ball z greatly appreciated but now i'm very interested to see how future chunks ties into dragon ball super but i guess we'll see you next episode for the brand new saga if you guys are enjoying my dragon ball super series so far and you guys want to see all these uncut reactions early make sure to check out my patreon the link will be in the description also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future reactions and as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time